The pause to edit feature enables a user to make changes to a document in the middle of the run process. There are two ways to use the pause to edit feature. We'll review the most common way first. So if we want to enable pause to edit for this thank you letter, we'll click on the gear icon, go into more, check off the box next to pause to edit, click OK, save that change, and we're ready to run our DDP. Then we'll navigate to our contact Jane Doe and click the run DDP button. We'll run this as a PDF download, and about 90% of the way through the load bar, we get the option to download the file that has the merged data inside so we can make any changes we want to it. So let's download our file and open it up. Here's our simple thank you letter, but we're going to customize it by adding a postscript at the bottom. We'll save our changes and close it. Then we'll go ahead and choose our updated file, click continue, and now it's going to take all our changes, loop them together, and give us an output PDF. We'll open it up and see we have our customized thank you letter. Another way you can pause to edit a dynamic document package is with Salesforce FileSync. Once you've installed Salesforce FileSync on your computer and enabled permission settings in both the Salesforce profile and chatter settings, the pause to edit feature can be used. Detailed instructions on how to sync your Salesforce permissions can be found at the bottom of the pause to edit documentation on our support site. So assuming we've already installed Salesforce FileSync, and also synced our Salesforce permissions, we'll enable pause to edit for our document here by clicking this gear button. Then we'll click the tab labeled more, check the box next to pause to edit, and click OK. Then we'll save our changes and navigate to our contact. We'll click the run DDP button, and we're going to run this as a PDF download. So we'll run this, and 90% of the way through the load bar, we get an option to sync our Salesforce files folder. So we'll click on our document here to sync it. When the file syncing is complete, our document will appear in our Salesforce files folder. Then we'll open our document and add a short customized note at the bottom. We'll save this change, and this will save directly to our Salesforce files folder, so we don't have to hunt around for it. Then we'll sync the change we made, and as you can see, it shows our one update. So we'll continue merging the file into our PDF by clicking continue. Now we'll get a PDF with our change inside of it, and if we open it up, we can see our postscript is there. Lastly, if we go back to our Salesforce file sync folder, we can see the Word document has been removed, so we won't get confused when running the DVP in the future. To learn more about the pause to edit feature, visit our support site for further information.